Hey, Bass Geek here, and there's a lot of ways to catch bass in June, but there are none more fun than the ones I'm about to share with you. All right, Geeks, listen, you can drag a worm if you want to, Carolina rig, Ned rig, whatever you want in June, it's going to get you some bites. It is one of the best months of the year to catch numbers of fish. But if you want to fish fast, maximize your catches and your time on the water, and have a good time, these baits are for you you my favorite June top five. The first week or two of June, there's still a lot of things happening. I'm lucky enough to live in a region where we've got some really highlands reservoirs, some highlands reservoirs, and some lowlands reservoirs. So the bass have moved either out deep or the bluegill, like on this lake, are just now starting to spawn. So there's still a lot of transition in June for me, and that's always gonna mean throwing a top water. During the first week or two of June, the bass can be up chasing bluegill, and there's nothing better, in my opinion, than a buzz bait when that's happening. In ultra clear water, this buzz bait has become one of my favorite, and that is the Alpha Buzz by Omega Tackle. Now, it's got a double blade on it, and you'd think that that would actually throw a ton of sound, but it's actually extremely subtle, it leaves an incredible bubble trail and you can get some incredible bites. This is a quarter ounce, which I love. I can really extremely slow and call up some big bites on these clear Highlands Reservoirs like this. Now, if you need something that's gonna call them up from dirtier water, shallower water, out from under docks, this is the bait I would recommend you going with. It's got a big blade and it's adjustable. This is from Big Daddy Baits, and this is the Harry Buzz. What I love about it is you can bend this down and get a clack out of it as it hits the head, or you can raise it up and reel it nice and slow. When those bass get to the point when they really don't want to chase and you've got to hold something above their head for a long time, it's hard to beat a popper. This is one of my favorites. This is the prank. It's got a great bill on it, so you can actually swim it, or you can pop it and stop it and let it see it. Once those bass get out over deep water and they get suspended, or whether they're up shallow and they're in the mood to chase, but just not something that's racing by, this is the bait for all those conditions. If you haven't watched me catch bass out over 50 to 120 feet during the summertime on a topwater, you've obviously just got here. You need to go back and watch some of these videos like the one I'll show you if you stick around to the end. This is the best clear water walking bait in the world. This is my pearl melon head and spook one knocker. It's not overly loud, it's not overly obnoxious. You can walk it slow and it calls large mouth, small mouth, spots up and drives them crazy. You can walk it, stop it fast or slow. It's the most versatile bait on the market. So the minnow bait has been a major player for the past two to three years in the tournament scene, especially since the advent of forward-facing sonar, and really truthfully for us guys that know well before that. Now, traditionally, you're gonna fish the little two and three inch little baits, but what I've discovered when it comes to June, and depending on the lake that you're in, those bigger bass love to target those bigger shad. One of the keys to catching more bass during the summer on a minnow bait is upsizing. That's why I love the five inch Demeke Armor Shad. And man, do I got a video coming to show you guys something that's going to blow your mind over the next few weeks that Demeke has come out with. Bigger baits are gonna entice those bass a lot more than those smaller baits are. Another one, and this is one of my go-tos, this is the four inch forward-facing sonar minnow by Yum. This is one of my favorites, JC Natural. I do wanna apologize again for my voice geeks. I have had a bout of pneumonia. I'm still fighting that, but I do feel a lot better, so don't worry about me. I'm out on the water. That's gotta make you better. Let's talk about category number three. And again, I go back to if the bait fish are up shallow or if they're out deep. That's what I love about these baits. You're moving, you're not sitting still, you're able to catch these bass in the funnest way possible, in my opinion, during June. And this is one of my very favorite ways to catch them, and it's when they move out deep, and that is a Ramsey Bates with a ledge head on it, bigger swim bait. I can fish this throughout the entire water column from shallow to deep, for the brim eaters to the shad eaters on the ledges. Got a little grass, 
just now starting to emerge. Got a little wood, an underspin this time of year is money. Whether they're offshore and you're scoping or whether you're up shallow fishing for shad and brim eaters, this little puppy gets bites. To me, this rig has taken over the summertime when it comes to fishing with a minnow style bait. I love the Okashira screw head by Mega Bass, but they only make it to an eighth of an ounce, which is great for you guys who are fishing from the bank. For me, this is the Jarhead by Destroyer Bait Company. And I love to team this with the X-Zone Swimmer, the 2.75 inch version. Again, we talk about the different areas that I live in. And that's what I love about the place I live in. I can go down to Tennessee and I can fish offshore in ledges right now, or I can come up to Virginia and we're still in the shad and brim spawn. So I've got so many different things I can do right now. And I think that's the way it is from south to north with you guys. So many different things going on in June that makes it such a fun time to fish. And what can be better than covering water with a crankbait? Now this is the Duo Realis G87. Now this is the 15A, but they also make a 20A, which dives down, at least I can get this down to 30 feet on eight pound test line. Now, a lot of people are gonna say you're crazy. This gets down to about 15 to 18 on 12, on 10, I can get it down to 20. What I love about this bait, and there's gonna be a lot of people mad that I'm showing you these baits because they keep them quiet. These are what I call tight wiggle, heavy hunters that are light on their feet. And what I mean by that is because of the bill shape, they dive extremely straight down. They get to depth quickly, but they don't grind on the bottom. They're extremely buoyant. They come across the cover on the bottom extremely well, but they tiptoe through it, which means when they hit it, they have this real big bounce back. It's an incredible bait. And when you give it a quick turn of the handle or a quick rip, it has a nice sweep out motion that I've never seen from any other bait. These are some incredible baits that I've been keeping quiet for a few years now. One of my other favorite companies, this company sent me some baits about a year ago and I've been playing with them. Now, you geeks out there, I always say during the middle of summer, there's two things you can do. You can go out deep or you can go up the creeks. And this is for you bank bangers. Cornerstone Baits have sent me a bunch of baits last year and I've been playing with them. And this is probably one of my very favorites right here. This is their 1.5 inch square bill. You wanna talk about top notch hooks, top notch paint jobs, these are some of the most quality crankbaits I think there is on the market. Look at that. That is a 1.5 in bluegill spawn. Again, I like to fish deep. This bait is a little more subtle. It really reminds me the way the bill is shaped, the way the body is shaped. Not quite a DT series, not quite as thin, but it's definitely got a nice tight body, wide bill. It's going to get down there deep. This thing dives, this little bait, and this is one of my favorite colors. I love that they sent this to me. Tennessee Shad, love that red throat this time of year. Dives 17 to 21 feet. This is called their DP21 and Tennessee Shad. Now my favorite way to fish, I love to throw big baits. If you guys don't love to throw big baits, some of these might not be for you, but when the bass first move offshore, the females will suspend a lot of times. So they won't hunker down to the bottom. They'll kind of sit out there, suspend up and rest. And that's when the old Ben Parker Magnum Spoon comes into play. Love these things from Nichols Lures. You guys have seen me throw spoons for years and years and years. If you haven't, go back and watch those videos. Love that they put the stinger hooks on them now. They all come with a good barrel swivel, great hooks. Love these things. Now, I use them in clear water. I found a couple of different ways that really to maximize the use of these and catch some big bass with them. But I've also found a couple of ways over the past two years to use them with those offshore bass when I'm using my forward-facing sonar or make them a little more subtle in clear water. But nothing gets a reaction out of summer bass like a big hunk of metal. This is the Lake Fork Spoon. 
this is a nice small, I think this is the four inch or maybe five inch. And I've put a crank wrap on one side of it. It looks extremely realistic in ultra clear water. And I can't tell you how many bites I've had over this on the past couple of years. Now, another little spoon that I'm keeping under my hat. And yes, I do put a crank wrap on this too when I'm in ultra clear water. If I'm not in clear water, ultra clear water like today, we're seeing eight and 10 feet to the bottom on this lake. So I don't want as much flash. I want it to look very natural, very flat like that. But if I'm in dirtier water, definitely going to use this color. This is the Mojo Spoon by Nichols Lures. All right, geeks, that is my top five June, and we have caught fish on all those and plan on catching some fish this June on some of them. Hey, if you like this video, make sure you stay till the end after the outro so that you can see a couple of videos where we actually put some of these tactics to use over the years, and they'll help you catch more fish, of course. But as always, questions, comments in the comment section below. You geeks know I love to talk fishing with you. Like it if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you ring that bell. Say a little prayer for me so I hopefully get over this stuff. 100% Watch Squad, you know I love you. You're the best. You keep the channel going. And as always, you geeks rock.